one. the beaver were back uh, some of you will probably recognize it from my nuisance beaver trapping there's a culvert here I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to it to unplug it or not they have got a hell of a dam now it's gonna be pretty deep Wow Find the tube. May end up going for a swim from the looks of it. God damn. I'm gonna have to open up the dam down there and let some of this water out. Yeah, get some of this water out of here so I can see where that pipe is. Unplug it. This is right here is what they do. Once the water started running out, they threw this dam in here. And where's the dam? Right here's the bean field edge. They dammed up the bean field and causing the water to flow down this way. And then it's gonna be hard to form it. So, tear it up. You gotta open it up and get all this water out of here. Open, I can bust it. Set a bunch of traps here, catch them tonight, and then have them come in with an excavator. I'm not gonna do a usual dam break set where I would put a trap up here. Because at the moment, I just want this water out. Crazy, I trapped a lot of beavers here. They keep coming back. Just to pull this vegetation out of the way. I'm just stomping in the mud right now. I 
Um, down at the other end, just over the hill is the big flooded area. This is where this all used to be water right here. And I did all my trapping. So there's still some flowing through there, which is a good sign. There's a lot of minnows in this little water hole here. So I'm gonna walk this. I've never seen this dried up like this. Go the beaver upstream. Cause it was easier. This is the dam right here. You can see how high it was all through here. That was the beaver dam. That's a heck of a beaver dam. Almost as tall as I am. Well, it just shows that there's no beaver activity down here. Lots of raccoons. Yep. It's not good. Damage has been done now, but the thing is, this ain't gonna be all the damage. They will actually here pretty soon. They'll be going out into the fields and taking it back to build their build their hut or lodge, whatever. I'm surprised you ain't or Ernie already up here. There is some big bullfrogs in here. Well, who's ever truck hammer it is? They obviously ain't checked it in a while unless they're walking out here and they're looking for ducks. Oh boy. I gotta watch where I'm stepping. Oh, I gotta get, take a picture of this real quick. Stay tuned. I'm watching. I'm watching B and O. I'm out here trying to find out where the beavers are living in B and O's lives, so I gotta check them out. Bridger. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna come back out with the uh, Canine Extreme beaver traps. I bought some of those at the National Convention. I gotta get them on drowners yet. Might set a few caster mounds out here. Basically, we was just coming to see what how bad the damage was. And I did find one spot for a 330 way back there, but last year there was nothing here. So I don't know how, if they already made, they had time to make bank dens or not. But I'm gonna go back there and check it out.
Might have a better idea tomorrow once this drains down. It's gonna drain for quite a while. Well, he's probably gonna come from this way, so I better put my rod over here. <clears throat> Typically, I don't really care which way they come from, but this might be one of the ones that I've never caught. He's gonna be on to me. Make sure that the, there's nothing on the drowner side, wherever your chain is, make sure it can, you can hear it goes, it's free. And this is gonna drop a lot. So I'm just gonna set it right out here where it's fairly deep. You shouldn't have to worry about a raccoon out there where it's deeper because of the, I'm hoping anyways. I don't like catching raccoons when it's not season, so. Give me a nice flat bed out there. I like to have it out here as far as I can. Which this one's kind of, I might have to put a little bit of dirt in there. I might have took a little bit too much out. Just need to raise it up a little bit, it's too deep. Should make a really good bed actually. Oh yeah. Definitely, definitely be a good back foot I would think. They're gonna swim in here. Try to plug that up. Tomorrow I will bring some more and I'll break it multiple spots until I don't have anything breaking anymore. Break it in multiple spots. I didn't bring enough traps for that. You can see my traps right there. They'll come in here and start fixing this. Hopefully I'll get a back foot. Until then, I can get this water down. I should be able to find that culvert. I'm gonna bring a longer rod tomorrow. See if I can find the entrance. If I have to, I'll get wet to go out there and open it up. Get the water flowing back in where it goes. Farmers are gonna have a hard time farming this. So, I'm gonna go get my buddy's trail cam. So, stay tuned, I'll go turn it back on when I get over there. I guess I figured I might as well put it in perspective on how much beans actually were lost due to the beaver. I can still see bean stubble. Bean stubble. I gotta see. It's getting deep. There's, I can still see it. Somewhere. I'm... <laughs> I'm a long ways from the bean now, but it comes down from that tree right along these trees, usually. And obviously my buddy's got his trail camera right there on the edge of the bean field, which it was. And I'm gonna ask him when he put that there. Because it has since flooded since then. It don't take long. Let's see if he's taking pictures. Like I say, usually I'm not out here trapping. Got the call. This ain't supposed to be here. I'm here. Got off work at 4. I was here at 4.45. There you go, buddy. All right. All right, I'll get this out of here, and then 
that's probably gonna be it for for today. You can see I dropped the water level at least two foot. I might be able to find that tube now and get it opened up. You can see the water line now, it's receding. And it looks like we got one. For some reason he didn't go out on the drowner though. That it happens. Sometimes they don't go out on that drowner. Technically, I probably need a little bit longer drowners. I just put, use eight footers because they fit in my trap and shed perfect, so they work. He's there, that's all that matters. First night, first catch. I'm gonna set one trap now tonight or this time. Well, it's gonna do a double break. Let's see. I'll probably just put one more right back in there. You can see right here, his mate came along and it's starting to pile in more right here. So there's another one. This one looks like a juvenile. Probably last year, the year before. But I'm trying to open it, I'll open it back up. Keep this water flowing out of here. But you can see the level dropped a lot last night. They will come in here and build this back while he's still there in that trap. Let's see what happened. He wrapped around my chain before he got, didn't you? Splash me with water. But, pretty obvious that there's still probably one more. I'll reset this. They're going to keep trying to rebuild it. This is my best set. Damn brakes work great. You just break that little hole, they come to fix it. And you've seen I put that trap out there farther in deeper water. He's standing right on the bottom out there. But I did get the front foot, so it must have been after the water dropped a lot. That's why I, another reason I stuck it out in deeper Let's water. Have a look at him. <clears throat> Pretty good one. deep now I have, to, I have to build up the bottom a little bit for my trap this time but it's gonna drain this out really fast that's good it's just constantly draining you see the grass starting to pop up good solid day should be good Pretty good one, but uh, I'll just keep on resetting this until until I can get to that tube, and then I'll open the tube up, and this will all run down. And then what usually happens? I've never seen them get this bad before, but usually they'll try to plug the tube up again, and I'll put my uh, footholds around that as soon as I can get down that far. Once I open that tube up it'll go fast it'll be back down to normal but it's just so deep out there right now I can't get to it and I don't I don't feel like they should have to bring a excavator through all their corn that's almost ready to be picked you know I'll try to slow this down 
until they can get their corn out and then I'd hate to see them dry through their corn like that. So all right. Let's see how I'm gonna reset this guy. That's really solid still. Don't worry about that going anywhere. Oh boy, yeah, that's in there. I don't know what happened with my... Uh-huh. Something's wrong with my drowner here. I think it got completely bent the wrong direction. It did. That's what's going on here. This. This is completely bent. Jeez. It can't lock. It locks going down. It's supposed to slide like this. Holy shoot. Oh, man. That's, that's the end of that. Not using that one. Now, now I know why he didn't go down and drowned her. At some point in the catch last year, it got bent. <clears throat> go build me a new one. Put this guy on here. I brought my K9 Extreme. This one's got a little bit different slider. Just like this. It slides down and then when the animal's pulling, it doesn't want to come back up. So, now that I got that figured out, what's the other one? Get this one in here. some solid ground. Anybody knows, usually it's really soft around Beaver Dam, so I got a longer stake. Some of the hardest ground I've messed with. All right, that's looking better now. It's out there. In the front, Let's see how this one yeah, goes. Yeah. Pretty decent one. Yep. I'm gonna go uh, get this drowning rod fixed. Finally found out why I didn't go down the slider. And then uh, hopefully we come back out here tomorrow and get another one. Might even come out this afternoon. It's only like nine in the morning, so plenty of time for one to come try to fix this dam come out and check it out right before dark so thanks for watching i appreciate it i uh i know there's only one catch in this video a lot of you wanting to see catches that's coming it's just a nuisance job i got another uh somewhere around 45 days yet until trapping season so this will uh, tickle my fancy so it's beautiful out here Nice cool day, wearing a hoodie today, but 
appreciate everybody's support share my videos and all that stuff i appreciate it every time i see someone share it I, I, it's really awesome so thanks for watching have a good day